Okay, so next up, we're gonna talk about how to design 3D printable threads. <clears throat> um, so a lot of people are familiar with the hole wizard, but if you actually hit the drop down button below hole wizard, you can actually find a thread tool. And uh, this will allow you to put fully 3D threads into your part using a wizard. Uh, now, most people would strongly recommend uh, against doing this, especially if you're planning on like machining or injection molding. You don't need the threads in there. Just do a cosmetic hole call out uh, using the hole wizard for a threaded hole, and then it'll be there with a note on your print, and that's good enough. But if you're 3D printing, remember, complexity is free. So you can actually 3D print that thread in there. Um, and we've used this extensively uh, on parts that are going on our MJF machine to print threads. Um, they're super strong, like I'm talking this half 13 uh, eye bolt and block that you see on the screen here. Um, we put that on our pull tester and broke that uh, eye bolt at over 900 pounds in tension. Um, and it was actually where the, the first thread on the eye bolt was where that cross-sectional area of the bolt drops down, that's where it broke. We were actually able to spin the broken piece of the eye bolt out of the block. <clears throat> the threads were still good. Um, so don't, don't sleep on the idea of putting 3D printable threads into your parts because you think they're not strong or something like that. They're really strong. <clears throat> um, so how do you go about doing it? Uh, let's check out the video here. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go to your hole wizard and you want to pick the, uh, um, the, the tapped uh, hole uh, option and then go and pick the size that you want. <clears throat> Once you've picked the size that you want, then you just go to you know, position and place your uh, holes wherever you want them. In this case, I'm just gonna put one in this corner. That'll be important in a little bit. Uh, do not use the remove thread option. I've watched this screw a lot of my customers. I don't even know why it's in here. It's a terrible button to have in here. Um, use the cosmetic thread option. Okay, so now we're gonna go and we're gonna green check this whole wizard hole. And you can see we got our cosmetic thread in there. <clears throat> so we're ready to go. Uh, so next up, uh, I recommend putting a chamfer uh, on your whole wizard hole, just like if it was gonna be tapped in the real world. Um, this little bit of lead in really helps with getting a bolt started in there. Um, after it's printed. So under a quarter 20, uh, do a 25 thou chamfer. Over quarter 20, do a 50 thou chamfer. Okay, now you're gonna click the thread button and we're going to pick the edge of our hole and the top face of our part. And that is how we're gonna start setting up um, our thread. Okay, so now we've picked, or we're going to pick the size that we want. Obviously you wanna match the size that you use for the whole wizard uh, the hole, um, or else you're gonna have problems. <clears throat> and now we're gonna pick it uh, up to a surface. Uh, we have a nice flat bottom on this part, so you can also do blind if you wanted. And uh, now that we've got it set, um, I always recommend at least an eighth inch above and an eighth inch, if it's not a blind hole, eighth inch out the bottom to make sure that you don't leave just a little sliver of material in there and now you can't get your bolt to go in. It's very embarrassing, I've done it many times. So run it all the way through your part. Um, all right, so now we have the thread cut in there and uh, we're ready to print. Now in this case, it's a pattern, it's a, a four bolt pattern. So we gotta put three more in there. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, if you wanted to put three more in there, you'd have to repeat this process over and over and over for each of those holes. Or in this case, a little tip for you, use a sketch driven pattern and you can put all those holes in. If anyone from SolidWorks is listening, you should really, really make this not as cumbersome of a tool to use. Make it work like the whole wizard works. That's great. Just set it all up in one and then click, click, click wherever you want them to be. That would be awesome. Um, and yeah, so now we have uh, 3D printed, th 3D printable threads ready to go. Um, and uh, we've found that, you know, you can print on the MJF machine because of its high resolution, you can print threads all the way down to 632 or M3 in size, um, which is just crazy. Uh, if you're not familiar with how small those are, just Google it and it'll blow your mind that uh, it can be 3D printed. Um, anything less than that, the printer just doesn't have the resolution. Um, so you're better off just manually tapping that with a, a regular you know, metal tap uh, tapping tool. 
Um, so yeah, so that is how to design 3D printable threads. Okay, well, that is my presentation. Uh, I appreciate your time and sticking with me here to the end. Um, we covered a lot of ground today. Um, you know, definitely hit me up and I'd be happy to share this slide deck with you. Um, again, Paul DeWise, and uh, you can see on the screen here is my email address. So, you know, shoot me an email or uh, I'm extremely active on LinkedIn as well. So please uh, reach out and uh, connect with me on LinkedIn and, you know, slide into my DMs. I'd be happy to send you the, the slide deck that way as well. Um, you know, also I'm, I'm always happy to answer questions or give feedback on design. So, you know, if you're working on something and, uh, it's going to be 3d printed and you're looking for someone to be a second set of eyes, you know, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I do a lot of that. Um, <clears throat> and also one last shameless plug, check out our website, uh, forerunner3d.com. Um, it's got a ton of great information. We do a lot of testing and a lot of R and D and we publish everything to our website. So there's great design guides for all the technologies we talked about today um, with a lot of content that you're just not going to find anywhere else. Um, so, yeah. So thank you so much for your time and attention and uh, look forward to hopefully hearing from you.